<clears throat> All right, good evening. Welcome to this Facebook Live. This is Mark. I'm Mark. I'm a teacher of uh, Transcendental Meditation here in Brighton. And um, what I'm going to do is spend the next five or ten minutes going over what I regard as um, my suggested or recommended books on TM, on Transcendental Meditation. And there's two categories. One category is the more modern ones, and then the other category is some of the more um, older ones. We'll start with the older ones, and these are both by um, Maharishi. Now, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi was the founder of Transcendental Meditation, and he wrote both these two books in the 1960s. 1967-68. If you can see them both here. And um, so the first one is a commentary on the Bhagavad Gita. This is a translation and commentary of the Bhagavad Gita. And I would say this is what I would regard as the spiritual book. If you want to read about enlightenment, higher states of consciousness, love, um, human progress, human evolution, how to resolve all one's uh, difficulties on the physical and the spiritual plane. This is the book. And um, it was the first, there are 18 chapters in the Bhagavad Gita. Maharishi translated and commented on the first six. That's this book. And it's very easy to read. And I have read it multiple times. I think it's out of print, but there will be many, many uh, used copies available on Amazon or wherever you buy your used books. So that's the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi translation and commentary on the Bhagavad Gita. hope you can see it. So that's that one. The next one is The Science of Being an Art of Living. Again, this is Maharishi book. And this is more, you could say, technical. This is all about Transcendental Meditation. Now, Transcendental Meditation is very simple. This book is 300 pages. So how can something so simple have a big book? Well, basically, it goes into the sort of the principles behind the practice and also how the practice can bring benefits to pretty much every area of life from, you know, child raising to art to uh, politics and all that kind of whole span of what we do as humans. So that is The Science of Being and the Art of Living by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. And I think that's still in print. That's that one. Those two are from the 1960s. They're, they're fantastic and rich and deep. Now we progress to three more modern books. And we'll start with the... Ah, I haven't got it here. I've got I've I've mislaid one. But there's there's four. The first one is David Lynch. David Lynch is a film director. This is from 2006. It's all about meditation, creativity, consciousness, and his filmmaking. And so, if you're interested in any of those four, I'd recommend it. It's very easy to read. It's almost like poetry, and it's 150 pages. You can get this. It's, it's of course, it's still on Amazon, and there's an audio book as well. David Lynch, Catching the Big Fish, highly recommended. Take you probably an hour to read it. It's fantastic. That's that one. Then we have this one, Strength in Stillness. This is by Bob Roth, who's a TM teacher. He is the chap who teaches all the sort of celebrities in America, and it's a very simple, easy to read book. Um, and it's the kind of thing you would give to your friends. If you've learned TM and you liked it and you're benefiting and you're thinking I'd like to sort of you know, suggest it to my friends, you would give them this book because it's super easy to read. It's got lots of interviews with um, you know various types of people, famous and non-famous, and it kind of tells you how TM works. So if you haven't learned TM, this is what I recommend. Strength and Stillness, Bob Roth. Then there's this is the most recent book on TM, and this is much more about the effects of 
group practice on society and so an antidote to violence so this is this is um, kind of taking a rather a broader vision looking at the effects of group practice of transcendental meditation and its advanced programs um, on on how it reduces societal stress in various ways so that's um, fabulous the other book which i should be holding in my hand but i forgot to pick it up is transcendence by dr norman rosenthal so not transcendent but transcendence t-r-a-n-s-c-e-n-d-e-n-c-e by dr norman rosenthal who's a uh, U- u.s based psychiatrist and it's very um entertaining it was written about uh, 2009 i think so maybe it's 10 years old but um dr norm who's most famous for cog uh, coming up with that term seasonal affective disorder he basically discovered the sad syndrome um, he's also a meditator and he has recommended tm to many of his patients and so a lot of the stories in this book are about how tm has helped those patients with quite sort of severe conditions like adhd um, bipolar agoraphobia so this kind of um, so, and how it's helped people with that. And he also talks about, sort of brings in all the scientific research on TM. So again, that's a great book. Uh, so, so to sum up, we have the older books. These are bigger, 300 pages each. Fantastic, by Maharishi from the 60s. If you want something quick and sweet, and you don't know anything about TM, this one, Strength and Stillness. If you want, if you're more, you know, in the creative arts or you want to know all about creativity, this one, Catching the Big Fish. If you want to know all about the bigger picture, effects of TM on societal stress, this one. It's like 250 pages, that's that one. And then finally, Transcendence. I would recommend that more if you've already learnt because it's quite, it's kind of, a, it's it's something that helps you kind of get a bigger understanding about TM. But if you haven't learnt, I would probably go for Strength and Stillness. There we go. They're my book recommendations. So that's all for now. And um, I'll be back next week. Same time, same place. Until then, I wish you a good week. Bye for now.